Okay, guys, we're back. <clears throat> if my husband don't put down his slot machine game. Well, I'll, I'll put it down while we're doing the video. But I also want to show you guys this. Oh, we should show our pictures. They're over there somewhere. They're over there, yeah. So they give us this, or they don't necessarily give us the certificate. They go to the gift shop, and of course, it says, uh, you guys can read that. That you made it to the that top. That you guys made it to the top. Basically, it's just giving some little, it's actually 630 feet, I'm sorry, above the Mississippi Riverfront. And um, this is, it commemorates St. Louis's role in the Whisper expansion of the United States during the 19th century and the gateway to the West. So, yeah. We're going to frame this and put it up somewhere. Yes. Probably it, in the bedroom or something. And I think the pictures are right there by your foot, if I'm not mistaken. No, they're over there somewhere. You want to grab them? So when you're in line for the arch, we just want to go ahead and show you. They give you these little cards and it has like a number ID on it. And um, this is your picture that you take. And so, me and my hubby have a picture, or two or three. So this one is just a picture of the arch at night. It's very beautiful, you guys. Go check it out. And uh, we're about to tell y'all about some really good food that we had our final night. Yes. Um, so yeah, you get these. These are like little, um, actually three magnets. The, fir the first one is just like a little circle magnet. And then in this one, you can stick a picture. In this one, you can stick a bigger picture. And so we can show you guys the pictures that they took of us. And so you get this picture here with you standing in front of the arch so of course me and my hubby and of course there is his world famous um jersey that i was telling you about and i'm actually wearing the same shirt i love my little husband is a rich man shirt and so we got actually some others and so the other ones you cut them and they'll fit into the other um things and then it has like a nice little commemorative thing here that shows you kind of um some details and the outer skin of the um, the thing is stainless steel. And there are 1,076 stairs. And, um, yeah. It tells you how much it'll sway in different... Um, it actually will sway up to 18 inches in 150 miles per hour mm -hmm. wind. So we will not go up when it's doing that. So, yeah, there are the little facts over there and so you can stick your picture in here and kind of display it if you want or we'll probably get our this one framed so yeah so that was monday tuesday. now tuesday came around now we was kind of going back and forth that we really want to go like we were to, the go zoo, to the zoo because we found out that the zoo was free but then we also found out it's 15 dollars it's 15 dollars to park and we were not really trying to do that because we weren't really we were kind of tired at that point. We were probably not going to stay that long to get $15 worth. Yeah. So. And we were kind of limited on funds. So it's like, we knew what we had, but at the same time, we didn't want to go overboard. So we knew on our agenda that we had to go to this world famous Sweet Pies restaurant. Sweetie Pies. And you guys, if you don't know this song, go on to YouTube and pull up Sweetie Pies and it'll say her... um theme song or whatever and she has a video that she did and it's so cute yes sweetie pie is absolutely <clears throat> adorable she's a really sweet lady she used to sing with the icats for ike and tina turner and so of course in her restaurant there is a photograph like oh, sitting oh, right oh. behind where we're sitting in the booth and yeah. it's tina turner autograph signature like right behind us i'm like that is so cool and um yeah so they were really close and it was really cool when we got there do you want to go ahead and just talk about our visit uh when we got there you know we were greeted by a nice young man you let me take over talking you've been talking a lot oh well excuse me <laughs> well yo it was his name was charles. charles i believe but it wasn't the little charles that's on the show because i was like trying to look at the videos on youtube to see who i actually saw in there we saw the lighter guy that's kind of tall and he has like a tattoo back here mm -hmm. anyway we saw him he has glasses i think and um we saw him i can't remember his name and um we didn't see the sun or anything but we went to the mangrove um location and so that's actually not the main location which i did not know but we found that out and so we had a very great experience. We did not have to really wait in line. As soon as we got in, there were no lines. Yeah. It started picking up a little bit. We actually kind of went around. We kind of got around like around like what three thirty. About three thirty. It was right before people got up from work. So. Yeah, because by the time we actually got done, we took our time and stuff. And by the time we got done, it was about four thirty, I think. Yeah. And we so we did get caught. We got caught in some traffic. traffic. Yeah, and he but. jumped in front of a bus, which we will not discuss right now, because he almost killed us. And so anyway. We got there. Charles greeted us, and um, the men 
from even on the reviews that I read, they always take the ladies tray once you get all of your mm-hmm. food. And so it's kind of confusing a little bit because, you know, if you're new there and you don't see anybody going in front of you, you don't really know. So the guy that was serving the, the meat and everything kind of helped us through. And he's like, yeah, you get you can choose one meat and then you can pick two to three sides, you know, however many you want. And so my hubby actually thought that it was all you can eat and then well, you could go back for more. It's set up as a buffet style, you know, you it's have It's set a up server. cafeteria style, yeah, so cafeteria they serve style. you the food so you're not like piling on. Because this Negro, he would probably do that and they would put us out. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh. Because he, he can eat. But the thing is, like, the food was actually really good. Um, so tell them what you had. I had, uh, what was it? I know it was a pork. Was it a pork rib or pork something? I think it was a pork steak and it was pork smothered steak, in gravy. Yeah. It was pork steak smothered mm-hmm. in gravy. And now I and had like two or three bites she, of that. She had uh, three fried wings. He had these greens that was <clears throat> out of this world. And they supposedly only have greens. I'm guessing they were probably left over from Sunday because they taste like some good leftovers mm-hmm. that were like warm back up but not in a bad way. They were delicious. Those greens. I'm telling you, they were collard greens. And um, and then I had uh, yeah. mashed potatoes and gravy. Which I ate probably half of. Um, and then I had a uh, cornbread, which she ate. We both had a piece of cornbread. The piece of cornbread she gave me was like, it's like a little bitty piece and yeah. it was like broke off. It was like the top part of it. And then I had, for dessert, I think we both had peach cobbler. Mm-hmm. And then, like I said, she had the fried uh, I had the wings. three three fried wings, and they were pretty big size. I mean, very nice size wings. And um, I had three of those. I had the um, macaroni and cheese, which is absolutely world famous. She's known for it in her yams. Her yams are like very tender, melt in your mouth. <sighs> but it's so funny how and lemonade. Was, the lemonade was she, really good. She ate my. F- just about all my sides, just about. Oh, I think I, I had about, what, maybe one, maybe three I bites. I made sure that I took very small bites, and when he went in for my mac and cheese, this brother took a big chunk, like probably like that big. Don't let her fool y'all. He did. He, he does it every time we go somewhere, so I usually try to be considerate of him, but I shouldn't have been. I should have just ate what I wanted. Mm. Well, she ate her um, peach cobbler that night when we got back to the hotel. No, I, I didn't. I brought it back. Oh, you brought it back? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. Remember? Okay. It kind of yeah, melted the styrofoam. The stuff, I would just let you guys know if you guys do get it and you get the to-go things. Just make sure that you guys either transfer it to real plates or something because she cooks with a lot of butter. She does not cut corners when it comes to butter. So everything in it, it the butter like almost to it, like liquefies again and it actually burned through the styrofoam. That's the only problem I had when I rewarmed up the food. It was delicious. I ate every piece of meat off of them bones and he ate every bit of food on his plate. We didn't leave not one corner. We didn't leave not one bite. I even took one little bite that he had left of his mashed potatoes and took it. I don't even think he saw me do that. But no, I because I gave it. it to you. I said, you want the last bit of mashed potatoes? Yeah. I'll tell you go. Well, I ate part of it and it was only like this much left, so... Well, well, I still have my peach cobbler still in the fridge, which I will warm up I tonight. I shouldn't have ate mine. I shouldn't have ate mine. I'm going to warm it up tonight after we eat our food. Um, but make a long story short, that was pretty much... That was our final full day. That was full our final day. full day. So we had to check out at the hotel at 11 a.m. the next morning. We tried by to hurry 11. up for yeah. this. Yeah, we had to do it by 11. We actually got out, out by like 9. About 9, so... We went up to um, Quick Trip, got grabbed some... Filled up um, some gas and grab some snacks. And if you ever been to Quick Trip, you know y'all know for a fact that Quick Trip has a new hot box. And, and I didn't know how it. to work it. That's the end of the story. We can trying to hurry up with this last video. <laughs> I did not know how to work. He, the lady was over there like, ah, oh, she don't know how to work this, so she had to come <clears> out <throat> and help me. I didn't know that you it prints off a little things. I was my husband was paying for it, so I was trying to make sure that I didn't get charged over there. So anyway, I didn't know, and I was to get a, a bacon croissant for breakfast or whatever and i fell asleep on the way home but we did pray before we got back on the road and we it was that. a beautiful trip we um the way back i think we got back a lot quicker than we thought like maybe six hours and um this dude he speeds and he only saw like one hour of i saw one hour of patrol but man. he yeah he speeds when he doesn't need to but it was like uh it was being a seven and a half hour drive and i think i made it back here within about six Six hours and thirty minutes, so uh, we had about an hour left to spare. Oh, so, and uh, they love Drake and Rihanna. Oh my God! That is okay, yeah. guys. We found two or three different stations, and they were all like kind of like the younger hip hop type stations. 
Every I'm telling you, there was one day that we kept getting out and getting. I think it was the day that we did the tour. The first day we got in St. Louis. The first full day. Station, right? the first we found full the day. station because we were like, we always try to find like whatever the local station is so that we can listen to what the people are listening to. It's always fun. We both are lovers of music. We actually listen to some of our Spotify on our phones and then we always like when we get to where we're getting, we like to just kind of find the station. So we did. And they played Hotline Bling. Hotline Bling, if y'all know Hotline Bling, Hotline Bling played at least six times that time, just that one day. I'm telling you, when we got in the car, we heard that, and then we heard, Rihanna, better pay my money. Y'all better pay my money. And y'all know the word, but we're not going to say it because there might be kids watching. But that song and the Hotline Bling song, every time we got in and out of the car, one of them was playing. And I remember, because we went to the history, and I'm like... Didn't we just hear this? And then the next day it kept doing So we had to find the old school station. I had to cough. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, guys. It went down the right pipe. But, but yeah. We had a wonderful We finally trip. found an old school station and we were fine. But yeah, yeah we, we had a wonderful, wonderful, we had a wonderful first wonderful anniversary trip. trip. Yeah. And we just wanted to share it with you. And like I said, I will try to get the pictures to where you guys can see them. We had such a good time. If and not, this. Ask one of us as far as our Facebook links and we'll maybe send you our Facebooks and stuff like that so we can post on Facebook. So. I just got chills. Yeah. <clears throat> this but, really uh, gives me chills. But yeah, like I said, like make a long story short, we actually had a ball and we had a lot of memories and a lot of things to take back from St. Louis. Oh, did. And, you know, just, it was a bittersweet when we got home because of the fact that, you know, we had so much fun in St. Louis. We really didn't want to leave. But it's we a knew, good city. We had a lot of hospitality. Yeah. We knew realization was coming. The fact that I got to go to work soon, so she got to go to work soon. And we was like, oh, God, now we got to go back to work. It's okay. Because we thank God for having the job. Yes, we did. So that we can travel some more. That's what mm-hmm. I told him. So let, give me a kiss. <clears throat> we'll seal the deal. Mm-hmm. Next year, going to be off the chain. Yeah, we're going somewhere big. We're not going to release it right now because we're still getting the details but we're going somewhere big, and Real big. we are actually really excited. We're getting our money together and stuff yes. now, and we are going to be traveling again. And if y'all want to donate, y'all just go ahead and just help us out. You know, go fund me. <laughs> yeah, go find her and y'all go know fund to... me. The yeah, go fund me. Yeah. Com. Well, go fund us. Dot com. Yeah, we had to create something on there. Yeah. They ain't gonna do that. Okay, they somebody might. They might. Bring it across. We will see y'all later. We we'll see y'all.